Yeah, here we have a group of what first could look like like a field mushroom. So they look very similar, a bit too smooth for a field mushroom. So instantly, if you like break off the stem, yeah, it's, it's turning yellow instantly. Like even on the cap here, yeah, instantly. So let's see what the smell is like. Well, it doesn't smell mushroomy. So yeah, this is what we call the yellow stain or the sickener, and they can make you sick. They won't, they won't like kill you, but they can make you sick. So yeah, the yellow stainer. Yeah, yeah just wrap it a little bit. So yeah, there's loads of them here. Let's see what it looks like on an adult. Yeah, you can see it has like a pinkish, brownish, pinkish tone to it. Yeah, here as well, it's like a pinkish, pinkish brownish tone. So you easily can, even for an aniseed. So, yeah, so for beginners, be careful picking field mushrooms. Because you can make yourself sick. Hello and welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the ch channel, thank you for stopping by and I hope you may su subscribe. So, yeah, I've been in a park today, as you saw in the previous video, and I uh, came across these mushrooms. And I thought, well, it might be a good opportunity to have a, a closer look at them and for identification as a lot of mushroom poison, poisoning coming from misidentification. And so basically, I don't wish anybody to, become, to get uh, mushroom poisoning. I, I personally never had any mushroom, po mushroom poisoning. So you gotta do your homework, and so yeah, I'd like to introduce you to the yellow stainer, or it's called the sickener. Mostly misidentified with the common field mushroom, or with the aniseed mushroom, and all. And there's about th all, all together about 30 in the group horse mushroom and there's there's so many and some people misidentify the sickener or yellow stainer for one of the others so they're not deadly poisonous but they will make you sick i think it's diarrhea and vomiting things like that so let's have a closer look at them Right, here we go. Right, I have a few uh, mushrooms here. Let's see. Right, in the first look, oh, they're always still getting a bit dry. And at the first look, you could think there are field mushrooms. Uh, Take a smell. Mm. Yeah, the smell is a bit. What to say? Not mushroomy at all. Maybe a bit, a little bit like medicine. So, uh, right. There will be a skirt. Uh, yeah, stem is quite quite firm. The, let's take a knife and cut one in half. Let's cut one in half. Uh, full of 
worms and maggots and uh, uh, the gills are like gray a hint of pink like you expect from field mushrooms as well when they're young so when they actually when the cap is open up there is pink you can see some pink uh, so from yeah also another thing is if there's like close on some of the field mushrooms you can see it look like a crown from the skirt outwards so but uh, what else they're quite smooth I know the an aniseed uh, mushroom is uh, quite smooth as well but normally the field mushroom is a bit rougher or, or sometimes it, you can a bit scaly as well so uh, yeah, stem wise, there is not much difference to the normal field mushroom shape. Same. I mean, sometimes they can be slightly higher in, 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 in the shape when they're a bit older, but when they're young, you can see it. Right. But the real difference is the yellow stain, as I say, will stain yellow because these are already a bit old now you can see it already so you wrap the cap and it stains yellow and also if you break no you can't see it on here normally in the, in the bottom of the base there you go instantly it, it turns yellow hence the yellow stainer so even the aniseed mushroom field mushroom it sometimes has a few little yellow spots but that's about it yeah that instantly changes to yellow instantly so so I just want to show you the difference but I haven't got any others to compare instantly with so just watch out that's the only thing I can say. Watch out when you when you go into the field because they're they're using the same habitat. Also, apart from the the one who actually live in, in uh, or grow in the forest, but they are look their the cap is scaly. So, but all the ones who you find in grassy area. So they're all there's about thirty, I think about thirty in the, in, in the group. Uh, most of my are edible so it's like the yellow stainer yeah instantly changes when you rub the cap instantly so yeah I just want to highlight this mushroom because a lot of people that do forage for field mushroom but just beware that one might be a field mushroom the other one could be a yellow stainer so you got to make sure that you have what you think you have so but as i say that then they're poisonous but they give you bad stomach and but you will live <laughs> so yeah there's not much else to say uh yeah there's one more thing yeah with the what i just wanted to add is the spore the spore print color right the field mushroom has so like a chocolatey brown and the yellow stainer so like a, a purple brown so there probably won't be much difference in color so again that's not a full proof so the only proof is when you rub it it really turns yellow instantly that's the full proof that's the most important idea with these ones the rest they could be all similar so right well that was just a small little video 
but I think it might be an important one to some people who are just starting out to forage or planning to go forage or want to enhance their knowledge and so yeah I hope you find it useful and we will see you on the next episode thank you for watching bye bye